All right, y'all, we're replacing a light fixture in my trailer. Now, I'm having to improvise my camera stand, so if it happens to fall at any point in this video, you've been warned that it might just slip off of that. So, I'm just telling you now, so if it does, just understand it's because I had to improvise to make my camera stand work. But this is a RV light fixture that we're changing out today. And of course, that make sure your power is off and everything before you get going with this. Okay, we got no power in it. We're just going to remove these three screws and they're not easy to turn. I might get a drill actually with it. It's got a, looks like it'll fit in number two square a bit. I hope it will. Pretty much everything. Man, I don't know if my drill's going to fit up in there. Okay, yeah, it does. It's tight, but it fits. So the reason I'm changing it out is because I really don't like how it looks and these sockets are fine, but this one is loose. You can see it's really not attached well at all. So, Camera's starting to. Okay. There's no box, and that kind of concerns me. But this is 12 volt stuff. So because it's 12 volt, I'm not incredibly worried about it <sighs> why are that sort in there <laughs> that one was and this one is too my gosh why did Paul Bunyan put these freaking things on Y'all, I might have to pause the film because this wiring out here. Oh, there it goes. Hear that pop? Okay. They were not playing when they twisted these wires together. Go ahead and unravel them, I guess. There's those. And this black one here. This black one goes down into that switch. So I'm going to get my wire strippers. And I'm actually going to cut that. All right. So we cut that. All right, and then I went on eBay. And if anybody's wondering how much I paid for the new light, 50 bucks. So if anybody is interested in one of these it is a uh oh what's it called i forget who man the main the manufacturer name i don't remember but came in like i said got it on ebay it's 
like uh, it's like Far Farco or something like that. It's got your little alabaster light globe. Nothing too. Nothing flashy. That's exactly. Yes, this is exactly the way I want it to look. LED. Never have to worry about any light bulbs. No nothing. Uh, fake on, fake, fake, facking. I don't know. Fake on, F A C O N. Faking, I guess. I have no idea. So, anyway, it's a faking light. Where well, I'm wondering. All right, never mind. I know what I'm doing. I'm a genius. All right. So, I'm going to be using the new hardware since the old hardware had a little rust on it. So, first, we're just going to attach this up to the... And it's the same as a house, black to black, white to white. There is no ground. And this is a much better looking light. It's, same, it's got the same button switch, you know, so I can control it. It's 12 volt, which is what all this is. All right. Now, that's good. We're going to center this over the table. And I'm actually going to pull it forward a little bit. Because I don't really like where the old one was. It was pretty far back there. So I'm going to pull this forward. And then I'm going to... Actually, I don't have to just hold it there constantly. Let me see what kind of bit these need. These... I don't think a... A, two, a number two square isn't going to fit this screw. I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to use the old screws. Since a number two square does fit these. So... I'm going to just get the screw through the uh, hole, get the light where I want it at, centered over everything, and drop and drop the screw like an idiot. Pick up the screw again. I don't mean to bore you all with this. I am trying to do a good tutorial here, but I'm alone here, so bear with me. All right, screws up there. There's screws on the drill. Make sure it's centered. Okay, that's good. Now we have our threaded uh, attachment and our finial. We're going to tighten that down good, put that screw in. Loosen it a little bit, get it off those wires. Alright. And now, it's an LED panel right here. So, no light bulbs, you'll never have to take this apart again. So, then our finial goes on. I don't 
actually going to have to tighten the uh, riser pipe in a little more here. Just uh, got to go a few more turns with that. Much better than that piece of crap. All right. Well, thank y'all for watching. And y'all stay tuned for our new coming uploads. Y'all have a great day.